an impact of the stay-at-home order you might not have considered is the extra garbage people are generating. Plus, more people home means cars are blocking bins. It adds all sorts of challenges for sanitation workers. And Kyra 7's DD Sun shows you how the pandemic is making an already tough job even more difficult. Take a look at this garbage just overflowing. Waste management says when the stay at home order started, they expected volumes to go up, but nothing like this. And it's creating big challenges for drivers. Waste management drivers squeeze down narrow Seattle streets, loading up trash, trash, and more trash. People staying at home again, they are producing a lot more. The stay at home order means people are working on household projects. We did build a garden. And they're putting out more, from garbage to yard waste. Definitely, yes. Yep. Plus, people are relying on online shopping, which means a swell in recycling, too. Across the board, there are increases. We kind of anticipated it, but it was a volume that, that went beyond anticipation. Extra recycling gets picked up for free, but some people are putting those overflows into plastic bags. And that means they can't take it, and it's going to go straight to the dump. Another issue, cars that people would normally drive to work now line the streets, often blocking bins, making them hard to see. So they have to go around several cars to get it, retrieve it, and come back around. Waste management says if you're able. This car here is a little too close to the car. You want to move them as far away from those vehicles as possible. And face the lid towards the street. Plus, waste management suspended pickup of bulky trash, like couches or TVs, because that's a two-person job. So instead, people are hauling their own large waste to transfer stations. That's caused some really long lines at some of the landfills, and our trucks are unable to, to get in as quickly as normal. These challenges all add to the stress of performing a very essential job during this pandemic. It's really a, a, a difficult situation for the drivers. They say COVID transmission through trash is not so much of a concern. The World Health Association and the CDC have all said that does not, is not a pathway. But we're still being extra careful. They provided drivers with more gloves, face masks, disinfectant, and training. It's all challenges that come with a job. They have to find a way to get it done. There's no timeline yet for when drivers will start picking up bulky waste like this again. It'll all depend on when social distancing restrictions are lifted. In Seattle, DD Sun, Cairo 7 News.